All right, so I wanted to make a quick video um, on these little MOSFET power control kits. Um, you can find them on, on Amazon. You know, this is a five pack. Um, I assembled it myself. Uh, it came with absolutely no instructions. I had to look for a picture of it on the internet just to figure out how to orient things and how to get it all put together. So, I mean, it's quite simple. Um, you know, you have a circuit board you have a, a three pin connector on one side, um, a two pin connector on the other side, the MOSFET, and then a resistor. Now, you know, originally I wanted to have this set up um, so that I can power, um, you know, this LED strip uh, from an independent power supply. So this, that's a 12 volt LED strip and I wanted to power it on, on its own power supply and then have the uh, Arduino control it, um, you know, and the Arduino's powered off USB, you know, plug into my laptop, <clears throat> um, on 5 volts. So obviously, you know, I have to get 12 volts into there, and, and how to do it uh, is the question. So, you know, I thought, it, 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 there's no information on these little things on, on how to wire them up. Um, I finally came across one tutorial um, that basically talks about taking, you know, uh, a 12 volt plug, putting it into your Arduino, because Arduino will take, you know, all kinds of power. And then, you know, you take the VIN pin off the top here um, and feed it into um, where this orange line is going into. That, that's your plus 12 volts. Um, black wire would be back to ground on here for your negative, uh, you know, chassis ground. And then your your control pin, um, your P, uh, PMW pin uh, goes into here. And then these two wires go out to the LED strip. Um, and, and that's what the intent of this circuit is. Basically, you, you power it from this side and then you feed the you know your LED strip or whatever on this side. I didn't get that at first and it took me a long time to figure that out. I was trying to figure out how to, you know, I thought this, this was just like, you know, you, you powered your LED strip with positive 12 volts and then th this was your couple to ground. Um, but that's not how this is. Basically, this is a power supply. This is your source power. That's your output, positive and negative. It's clearly marked on, on the board as well, positive and negative. Um, for whatever reason, my brain didn't get that until 10 minutes ago. So <clears throat> what I did um, is I basically modified uh, that original um, uh demo that I saw where you're taking the 12 volts off the board because you're feeding it from here and I basically have you know a power supply plugged in over there you know Jerry read it to my two clip leads here to get my positive out of the plugged in power supply <clears throat> and then um, I'm basically I took the ground off the Arduino hooked it to the negative t test lead I took um, the negative you know uh, line off of this uh, power control kit connected it together so basically I have a common ground between my 12 volt and my 5 volt source and then I took the positive lead of my 12 volt power supply and I'm feeding it into the positive end of this kit and you know I just have two wires coming off the Adreno basically it's ground and the PW, um, PWM output um, with the 5 volts powering this unit and I got the lights working, as you can see, <laughs> they're flashing away. So, you know, Arduino's con controlling the LEDs and the power supply is external and it's all flowing through through this kit. So that's what these things are good for. And this is how you wire them up. Basically feed in your 12 volts, connect your common ground, feed in your uh, signal, goes through trans the, the transistor, which then powers positive and negative. Um, in this case, my green wire is positive and my blue wire is negative. And that flows back through this ribbon cable and then into here. Bit of a mess of a soldering job I did on here. I only have the blue and um, the blue uh, lights flashing in here. This is a RGBW, but I just have the blue ones going here now. So, so that's it. I hope this video helps somebody because uh, I spent a few hours on this and finally got it, finally had my Eureka moment. And now it's working. Hope it helps.